what up everyone welcome to a new vlog and right away we jump into how my day normally starts so this morning he woke up I actually had a pretty good night he woke up at uh, I think around 8 like his final waking up because he was kind of fuzzy since 6 but still fell asleep for like half an hour and then was awake for a couple of minutes and then 10 minutes of sleep but I actually had a pretty good night. I think he only woke up three times to uh, feed. But um, yeah, so this is how normally the morning goes. So I wake up, go downstairs, have a coffee with Gus, and he is awake like the entire morning. He eats and then he keeps on being fuzzy and he wants to see everything. So when you're still like half asleep, he wants to explore the world. So you have to walk around with him and you have to entertain him. And then he finally falls asleep around like 11 or something. That's when I try to hit the shower. And most of the times I make it right out of the shower and then I have to like go towards him because he's crying again because he wants to eat. So that's exactly what happened today. So Cus stayed home uh, because he went training just now, but he stayed home until I finished the shower. I barely put some makeup on and then it was time again to eat. So this is my breast milk in the bottle by the way. I um, pumped my breast milk and sometimes we have to feed him one extra bottle with formula just because I don't produce enough milk and I don't want him to be hungry. But not even every day, just some days he needs one extra bottle. I don't know if any of you moms that breastfed or pumped has that same feeling as me but then sometimes like he drinks the entire bottle and then he throws up and he throws up so much you're like no my hard work breast milk <laughs> it feels like i don't know it feels like such a waste like if you throw up formula fine like i'll make some extra but when it's breast milk you're like it's kind of painful i actually started on the Christmas tree. I know I am hella early. That is my life every single year. Everybody tells me I'm too early and I don't give a shit. It's the 20th of September. I think it's fine. Like it's at the end of September. Or else you have the tree for like two weeks and then all then you put all that work in and decorate your entire house for two weeks. It's, it's a shame. So yeah. He's doing really well by the way. He just started to give us his first smile since like two days. And I probably film pretty much every single one because it's so addictive when he starts smiling. And it really starts when you have like a high pitched voice and talk to him. Or when, for example, when you're changing his diaper, he smiles at you. He's like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Clean my diaper. Who's mama's pretty boy? Who's mama's pretty boy? Are you mama's pretty boy? Are you mama's pretty baby? Are you mama's pretty baby boy? Yeah. Cus was feeding him with a bottle and then he started shitting and it literally just ran by his diaper Just on the side on the side it was dripping out. So we put the blanket on the meat real quick to save ourselves And what are we gonna do now? First he pukes on me and then he shits yeah. on me That's real love. Show, you, show your shoulder Do you even see it? Yeah, because it's completely wet Yep, <laughs> that's the good stuff. So now we're gonna shower. So we shower him like I think every other day and sometimes it's two days in between just depending on how his skin is. Sometimes his skin is a little dry even though we hydrate it with the baby oil. He's starting to lose his skin on his head, you see that? Yeah. He loves the showering process but he doesn't really like the drying off because he gets cold real quick. Oh. 
Let me get the shaky lip. <laughs> it's so funny to see it. I think it's one of my favorite things to do with him actually because the showering is so calming. He doesn't really like the bathtub. We tried that I think three times and two of the three times he cried. So the showering is just the way to go. It's also easier because you have to fill the bathtub up, make sure it's the right temperature. Temperature. <laughs> it's just easier to hop under the shower together, isn't it? And you also like it much more, don't you? Oh yeah. You love it. This big boy, by the way, is now on to the second size of Pampers. That went pretty quick because he already hit, I think, five kilos. We didn't measure it yet, but the other Pampers started to leave red marks on his skin. <laughs> no, the camera! <laughs> You want to see everything, huh? You're so curious. You're so curious. And you just feel it when you pick him up that he's pretty, pretty heavy. And he came out 8.8 .8 LBS, so that's four kilos. That's a pretty big baby, yeah? Big baby for a petite yeah. lady. But it's not even, he didn't have it in like his length. Because he came out pretty short, but he was just really fluffy. <laughs> he came Not out bulky. Really fluffy. Yeah? Yeah. Heavy bones. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you promise that you don't shit all over yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Timing. <laughs> hmm? Was that a little poo? Okay, so now it's time for me to get dressed and start the day. In the forest. This is the first time we went to this forest. Well, we've been living here now for two and a half months because we have a park nearby, so that's where we normally go. And the little baby boobies finally sleep. It's amazing like how in a quiet house, he doesn't sleep. And when you go outside with all the noises and stuff yeah, and in the car and with a bumpy road, he sleeps like the best. True story. And Kyle is loving the walk too. It is Saturday afternoon and we are going on our first parents' night out. Night out. <laughs> yeah. Finally, so. After six weeks. I know. Actually, actually time. longer because before, at the end of my pregnancy, we, were, we weren't really oh, going yeah, out. True. Just sorry. But this is going to be hard for me, that's a fact, because we're gonna bring uh, Jax to his parents. I trust his parents 100%. His mom is even a nurse, so like, you know he's in good hands, but it's just so freaking difficult to drop him off somewhere. <laughs> but we're, we're gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to start somewhere, so might as well today. So, Cus yeah, really good. doesn't, <laughs> is really bothered with it <laughs> at no. all. No. I guess it's just, I guess it's really normal. Honestly, I don't think any mom just drops their kid off like, okay, well, here you got him. We even looked at um, Shanna. Yeah. She dropped him uh, for the first time off with friends of her, and she was also just literally standing there yeah, staring at him. She was having him. a hard time. Yeah, she was having a hard time as well. So I think it's just really normal. It doesn't matter who you drop him off with, it just still feels so weird to just leave him. You're like, are they gonna pick him up when he's crying? Are they gonna, like, oh, stop overthinking everything? Yeah, that's basically it. I know. But well, we're heading to the, to Amsterdam. My parents live there, and then uh, afterwards we're going out for dinner and some drinks, maybe. Uh, let's see how far I get. <laughs> yeah, let's see how um, uh, how long you can go without Dutch without him. And let's not forget the fact that I still uh, pump my breast milk every four hours. So I just did it before we went away. And then, uh, I mean, only the drive already is like half an hour. Uh, so half an hour there, half an hour back, and then still to the restaurant. So let's say this time there's probably going to be like five hours in between instead of four. But for once, that's not, that doesn't matter. Are you going to drink tonight or no? Maybe. Maybe. Red wine? Maybe. 
Probably, yeah. I feel like a red wine. Or a cocktail. No, I would definitely if I not if I can drink now, it would definitely be a red wine. Yeah. I've missed it a little bit, you know. I was so sad last night. I was like, okay, I just pumped my breast milk and I'm gonna go in like another four hours again. I think I can have a drink right now. And then he threw out the red wine that I thought we had. So I was like all excited and yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. No so it would be uh, yeah, red wine with mushrooms. Ugh, yeah, it wouldn't be a good idea, but. So, let's go. So, this is the main course. I have a overshoot pasta and a ricotta. And this is officially my first wine. Come on. <laughs> He's already two beers in. He can't help me, too. Gone. <laughs> happy baby. Mm. Clean his diaper, give him food, and he's a happy baby. Yep. So, uh, I didn't really film anything else last night, but uh, just some shots from the dinner, but not afterwards. But we made it uh, out of like the house for two whole hours. <laughs> <laughs> we had dinner, we were like the first ones there because we went early, so our food arrived on the table like really quickly. And then whenever we were done, we were like, okay, so what are, what else can we do? We can go out for drinks, but I didn't want to spoil any more milk. And if I take another drink, I have to, you know, like wait another three hours and have to throw away my breast milk. So I found that, like, I was like, no, I can't do that. And you forgot your pump. And I forgot my pump. So my tits were like bursting. This is also my, my own milk, but my tits were bursting and they were so painful. I was like, I don't really know how like how to do this like if i go out for to have another drink right now i'm just gonna sit there and think about the pain in my breast so yeah so we went back and his parents were laughing when we got back because we literally were out for only two hours but still it felt good right it did really yeah. feel like the old times where we just had a nice dinner we didn't rush anything we were just at one point we were just done eating and stuff so yeah so this was like a step one and then this was a warm up. <laughs> this was a warm up dinner, yeah. So the next time I'll definitely bring my breast pump. Uh, I actually did use my hand pump whenever we arrived to his parents' house because our favorite football team was playing. Your hand pump. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my breasts were so were hurting so bad, we, but it was like a shame to go all the way to our house because it's still like thirty minutes drive to our house. So yeah, I literally leaned over the sink. <laughs> I used my hands to pump my milk out because I couldn't give him the milk because I had a drink. So I just saw my precious milk. Your liquid gold yeah. milk. Fade away in the sink. But it was fun, it was really good. And it reminded us of like, we have to do this way more often. And he had a good time with granny and grandpa. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You got lots of drinks and cuddles. Yeah. Okay, so it is Sunday right now. And we're gonna go out for a walk because it's actually really nice weather, even though it's probably cold as balls, or isn't it? Uh pretty frisky. Yeah. So well, we could we can try and uh walk to the pastry shop you were talking about yesterday. Is it open on Sunday here? We have to check. Hmm. Does that sound like a good plan, Kaya? Does it? Does it make it good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it not your milk, yeah? No. Jack's all getting getting all concerned when somebody's gonna steal his milk. <laughs> Kai would love some milk. <laughs> okay, so this is it for this vlog, I think. Uh, next week, I'm gonna do one vlog a week, so I'm gonna try to film every day, but it doesn't always happen, so at least I have enough footage for you guys to see some a little part of my life. 
uh, let me know if there's anything you guys specifically want to see. Next thing I'm going to do, I think, is a, a day of food. But if you have any other ideas, let me know. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Bye!